Welcome back to my channel. This story is penned by Manolo as Pizzazz and SB Nation News. TNA held the biggest tag team match in company history as the main event for Impact on Thursday night, May 16, 2024. It was 8 vs 8. Champions were on one side, while All-Stars were on the other side. Ring the bell! This match was so big that AJ Francis and Rich Swan observed from the VIP seats to scout championship talent. First class has their eye on winning gold. The champion team included Moose, Brian Myers, Eddie Edwards, Alicia Edwards, Masha Slamovich, Jordan Grace, Laredo Kidd, and Mustafa Ali. The X Division champion bailed on his squad during the match. The All-Star unit consisted of Matt Hardy, Ryan Namath, Eric Young, Sammy Callahan, Joe Hendry, Jody Threat, Danny Luna, and Steph Delander. The climax built to a hot tag for Hendry running wild. A sequence of dives to the outside whittled down standing bodies to Hendry versus the tag team champions. The system had Hendry in their sights to finish, but Young was Johnny on the spot to pull Eddie out of the ring. Myers charged forward and ran into a standing ovation slam from Hendry. That was the winning maneuver. After the match, PCO arrived to woo SDL with a black rose. This love angle is a blast. The champion's challenge was an enjoyable outing for the massive size with 16 wrestlers involved. Hendry is a surprising choice to win. It's not that he doesn't deserve it. I figured Hardy might prevail to force a world title match against Moose at the next PPV. That story remains in progress. Even though there were no official stakes for this match, it would be interesting if Hendry cut the line to challenge Moose, or maybe a three-way with Hardy. That would take advantage of Hendry's recent mainstream publicity due to his theme song climbing up the music charts. TNA posted the full match for your viewing pleasure. Let's boogie through the rest of Impact. A win by Ash resulted in the return of her jeweled brass knuckles. After interference from Ash's concierge, she landed a swanton for victory. Ash demanded that Xia pass over the knucks personally to kiss the ring. Xia did her one better by using them to punch her lights out. That post-match scene was an amusing heel gets come up in moment. Rosemary decided to take a darker direction in TNA. There comes a time to give up attachments that can be used against you. It's only after you lose everything that you are free to do anything. I don't know where this is leading, but the idea of a darker Rosemary has promised for a push with the Knockouts Championship. Santino Morella and Kushida discussed feeling sick after the poison from Jonathan Gresham. They were okay now, but it took about a week for the illness to run its course. Kushida has a match on Explosion. I hope that's not foreshadowing of any intestinal difficulties. Leon Slater defeated Alan Angels. The Brit was victorious via Swanton 450 splash. Of note, the referee had an ill reaction early in the match. It was the same ref who officiated Gresham's match last week. After Slater's win, Big Khan entered the ring to snap Angel's neck. Slater sent the hoss packing, so Khan snapped the neck of an innocent security guard. Gabby Laspiza interviewed Jake something. He took exception to the line of questioning. Diener tried to calm the waters and repair the relationship with his cousin. Jake responded by clotheslining Diener on stage. It appears that Jake is now a heel. Mike Bailey and Trent Seven wrestle each other next week to determine the number one contender for the X Division Championship. Competitive juices flowed, but they remain friendly. May the best man win. Frankie Kazarian defeated Steve Macklin. Rugged fight. Macklin had control down the stretch with Kess trapped in the tree of woe. Before Mr. Mayhem could blitz a shoulder tackle in the corner, the rascals put in his payback. Trey Miguel caused a distraction on the apron, and Zachary Wentz entered through the backside to spray paint on Macklin's face. Kess capitalized for the fade to black pile driver. This interference felt more like Rascal's revenge rather than creating a new group with Cass. Gail Kim spoke to Giselle Shaw about returning to TNA. Kim will be Shaw's guiding hand. I'm unclear if this scene means Kim will be Shaw's manager. If so, then that would be pretty cool. Mike Santana spoke with Tom Hannafan about his rock bottom moment leading to sobriety. Santana's daughter wished Santa Claus for her father to stop drinking. Santana has now passed one year sober. He is rearing to go to reach the top of TNA, closing with new TNA action figures for the first time in nearly 10 years. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content. 
please support my channel and send it to Cash App, Dollar Director 327. Thank you for your gift, it is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.